So welcome back everybody. We're going to continue with Half-Life 2 today. Um, I switched over to the 360 version of the orange box. Um, even though I won't have the quick saving, I do mostly know how to get through this game with, you know, not too much stress or anything. So it shouldn't be too big of a problem. And also just, I feel that after having played the PS3 version, the 360 version just runs better. And not to mention, well, it's kind of redundant at this point. But it also has trophies, or, well, achievements, which is, okay, there you go, which is also pretty good. Let me make sure my volume doesn't deafen me when shit happens. Okay. Which uh, is pretty good. And also, I just feel very comfortable playing this version. So I usually kill the guy with the gun first and kite that guy backwards. Just because it's a lot easier. So the 9mm is the basic pistol of the game. There is another one that you uh, you get in a chapter or two. But most of these guys you can just beat to death because they're very simplistic. And the pistol has good amounts of ammo through, for it throughout the game, which is very helpful. Okay, now for this. And I have fallen off this catwalk numerous times. It's not fun. Wait till you can hear the train coming. And yeah, the only annoying thing about this game is that if you sprint into a ledge like that, you will bounce up and off the ledge, which is just annoying, like, if you need to dodge something. Because it basically can almost get you killed sometimes, which is, you know... It can be annoying. It's not too ridiculous. Yeah, the exploding barrels I don't think hurt you too much. Really, the only thing you have to be worried about is, like, physics-based shit. That fucking hurt. The only thing you have to really worry about is, like, physics-based stuff crushing you, because that's an instant kill. It's left stick. I feel like a game like this would have B as its crouch button. Just a little bit. That would just be my natural instinct. Oh shit. Actually, never mind, I gotta keep moving. Yeah, the train will be an instant death, which is why I don't want to get caught by it at all. Also, they do a lot of nasty shit in this game, like leaving exploding barrels and stuff around for you. Which for right now is just more of a nuisance as opposed to a help. But later on it becomes very helpful that they do it. You know who's shooting at me. I'm trying to be a man of peace over here. And into the water. Now in this game, as you can see, your auxiliary power is split between oxygen when you're underwater sprinting when you're on land and also the flashlight and it isn't until episode two where they redesign it because usually the only one that you really need to use is flashlight um unless you you know are trying to dodge enemies or something and then you need sprint but um yeah it becomes really annoying if you have to use flashlight and sprint because as you can see it depletes the bar very quickly um in episode two they changed it because they changed the very way the engine worked which uh allows you to use the flashlight basically the whole time and also in here, he's looking at a TV with the G-Man on him. I think there's a certain number of G-Man sightings in the game. I don't know if there's an achievement for them, though. Yeah, he only gives you health, though. Nothing major. And later on, I'll uh, I'll get the um the special Vortigaunt in uh, the next chapter. We'll we'll listen to his like 50 different well-recorded dialogue um, options, which is pretty cool. Um, the achievements for this game. 
typically achievements on Xbox are you know, multiples of five. Okay, apparently I stood on the fire when I was loading. But uh, typically their achie achievements are intervals of five. That one is the only, or well, one of the few ones in this game that has uh, an uneven gamer score, as I like to call it. There goes the crow. And the reason I say that is because uh, it gives you 13, and then the other two points are given from the next chapter. We're doing something pretty easily uh, accomplished. You can actually save this guy if you move quickly enough. Wait, what the fuck? He... What? Okay, I thought there was only one of them. Apparently there were two. Anyway. I almost have full suit. Okay, now for this part, you can just basically leave as soon as you get up here. I think all you have to do is blow up that. I mean, you can stay here for a little bit and, like, shoot shit. But you get one of these rifles later on, but of course the enemies get tougher, but... This is pretty much my favorite gun in the game. What the fuck? Okay. I don't think you can destroy this central bridge, but... Again, there's really almost no point in doing this other than just for the fun of it. Okay, anyway, once you see that car come, basically... Oh shit, well, I fell down. But once you see that car come, basically they start mortaring you and you need to get out of here. Because they also... Once again, knock down a bunch of uh, exploding barrels next to you, which is not very helpful. Now, throughout the game, there's these things called Lambda Caches, which are basically free supply drops. I already found all of them, so you won't see the progress bar or the trophy or anything. But, um, yeah, they're pretty helpful, especially when you're, you know, low on stuff. Some of them are very well hidden. There's no reason to kill that. There you go. I think you can get by this one. No, never mind. You can skip that woman. See, she tells me to keep going. Now this room, you actually, I don't think, can do anything. You have to just drop in the water. And wait for them to unload some precious cargo. Whoops. And the explosion won't really hurt you that much in the water. I gotta bounce up here properly and I'm not doing it. I don't think you need anything to stand on to get up there. What happened to him? This dude, this guy is just circling around this shit. Alright. There we go. Yeah, it's a little weird. Sometimes I get it on the first try, other times I don't get the bounce properly. I think you can kill them as they fall down. And then they take all the damage on as soon as they finish the animation. You gotta be really quick with it, though. It's a lot of work, though. Oh, shit, come on. What did I even get hurt by right there? That was weird. The whole screen flashed. Okay, this is my favorite, because this is just playing rude. Shit. Okay, apparently a, a random body fell. Yeah, that didn't work out too well. Ah, fuck. 
Usually what I do is I manage to get it so that way it explodes and kills all these things. That's fine, though. Again, ammo for these first couple of stages isn't even going to be that scarce. It's just kind of something you just do. You can just freely fire and stuff, and they won't really care too much. Can exploding barrels hurt you if they're in the water? The only thing you gotta watch out for is that thing, because it falls down. And you can climb on it. I think once it's stabilized. I don't think you need to, though. Yeah, you don't. You just need to get to the ladder, but it sometimes falls down and crushes you, which is very annoying. Alright, there's a loading screen here, I remember. Right? Yeah. But what this is, is this is the first of many famous uh, seesaw puzzles, is what they're called. It's a physics puzzle, basically. And since you only have one person, you have to weigh down one side of the seesaw. Such that when you want to walk across it, you can. The only thing is this fucking thing right here is really just messing up my step. Now, I believe for the demo of this game, it was Chapter 1 and uh, Chapter 6. I forget when I played the demo and on what console. It might have been on PC. Very good demo. Demos aren't really something that anyone does anymore, though. At least not on the marketplaces and stuff. I don't think they do it anymore. Okay, that should be okay. This should be good enough. Again, it doesn't have to be perfect, it just has to be enough so you can sprint across. So yeah, now you get chased by a helicopter. I believe they're called Hunter Choppers, but I might be wrong about that. So look at that bait. You can actually grab it and not have to worry a damn thing about it. Fucks. Okay. I think this is the right way to go. Now down under here there's a uh, health and an exploding barrel. Along with uh, one of those charred bodies. Now if you ever played Zombie Escape on Counter-Strike, you'll recognize a lot of these character models, but you probably don't even need me to tell you that. They reused a lot of them, which is uh, pretty cool. I like SDK because of that. Did I get them? There we go. I like SDK. Let people really show off their creativity with stuff. Now, okay, I didn't get all of them, but all you have to do... And by the way, there's nothing really bad happens if a barnacle catches you. You just shoot it. Nothing bad happens. I'm just being overly cautious because that's just how I used to play this game. See, nothing bad happens. But you can just slide right by it. Nope, don't fall off. Okay. Sometimes there's stuff behind... Yep, see like that? They hide random stuff, but I'm full on ammo, so it doesn't matter. As you saw, I completely depleted my auxiliary power. Oops, that was a, a mistake. Yeah, fuck it, I'll shoot it. Can you even detonate those exploding barrels using the crowbar? I don't even know. I don't think I ever tried. This was around the time I played uh, Resident Evil 4, so I was really cautious of everything. Yes. We can have to get up there. 
I love this. Ready? Oh shit! <laughs> he grabs a random pipe. Now I think you he can die, but you can save him. Thanks for your help. He just drops it. Okay, how does he how does he give you the supplies? Oh, okay, here we go. I forget, how do you get oh I think you have to stack stuff. I don't I don't remember otherwise. I could have sworn there was like a ladder here, but I guess not. Because there's definitely a way to get up there. See later you get the gravity gun, you don't have to worry about that. Yeah, I got some work and he's just gonna sit there. I just need to, like, clip it, you know, and fuck it, I don't even really care that much. Doesn't even matter. I think you come back later, he's dead. This game is grim like that. Yeah, but really, man hacks are just more of an annoyance, especially later on. They're like flies, you know, like, when you're fighting a bear... The fly in your face is kind of what's... I wouldn't say it was going to get you killed, but it's just an... Oh, shit. Just a nuisance. That's really it. It's just more of an annoyance. They take, like, five health a hit. But yeah, now that you're introduced to them, you can never get rid of them. Sometimes you gotta check. And close the door. See, so, you know, that's the smart thing to do. Now, you can break this. Is this the right thing? Yeah, I think so. I wanna grab as many of the caches as I can just because they're helpful. And especially later on, I'm gonna need the ammo sometimes for some of the more powerful weapons. <laughs> is this one? Oh, never mind. It's not that one. This was a cache. What am I doing? I'm all messed up in the head. This this is a cache. I'm pretty sure. It's the only reason to come over here. Oh Jesus! That scared the shit out of me, dude. That is like some Jason Voorhees shit, man. See, he didn't even open the door. They just spawned him there. That was, that was actually legit. I was scared for like half a second. By the way, this is where you get the submachine gun. Where the hell do you go? Oh shit, wait. I gotta get my air. Yeah, it's really, it's really good that later auxiliary power just basically becomes like, you know, sprint and stuff. Yeah, it is good that they split the, uh, into an oxygen meter, basically, for sprint and whatnot. What the hell? Who the fuck is that? Some random shit is just down here with me. Oh, you fucks. I actually don't have any spare ammo for it, and as soon as I said that. What the shit? Oh, they drop battery units. Okay. That's pretty nice. Hey, you don't have to fight these guys. You can just run. This team actually does hurt you. Oh, fucking man hack. I really don't want to have to waste ammo to kill these things because they take like eight shots, but. Oh, let's see. 
if I don't get singed. I was I'm like half stuck on it. Yeah, physics and getting stuck are sometimes just the worst things that could happen to you. Uh, I think that's the right way, right? Yeah, this is the wrong way. But like you, like most video games, the wrong way is the way you want to go. I don't think there's anything over here, though. It's just bland stuff. I don't know why. I keep messing up the, the sprint button in my head. Okay, very good. Oh shit, he came over the gate. There you go. Saves me some time and energy. Oh shit. I'm still upset that that shit scared me earlier. With the dude, Jason Voorhees, just standing right there. The combine masks look really scary sometimes. Can you get in here? Does not look like you can walk in there. I don't think you can. I don't think this game requires crouch jumping like the, like the first Half Life. Oh, you fucks! So I think I just have to walk in it normally. I think I had it and I jumped. There you go. Yeah, it's a little weird. Like, in the first Half-Life, you would totally do that, but since this is console, you don't really have to. There you go. I'll just take cover back here. If this shit would ever explode. Thank you. What survived? That is like a Counter-Strike map right there with all the explosions just randomly happening. Is there, can you get through over here? No, you cannot. And I know what you have to do otherwise. Yeah, climb the ladder up. Oh, shit. Now, on the console, I don't know if this is the true on PC, but on the PC, on, on the console, if you look at a ledge while on a ladder, you automatically dismantle towards it. Or sometimes you don't even have to be looking, but in, just in general, that's how you, like, do platforming and stuff in this game. They give it a little bit extra precision. Now uh, here, you have to, like, finagle your way with some platforming. In such a way you don't fall and bust your legs. And that's it, right? You just have to rotate a little. Now, I did kind of screw up, because what you have to do is those wooden planks over there. You, can, If you can shoot them here with the submachine gun, you can do yourself a big favor for later. But the submachine gun's chamber floods in water, and you can't shoot it. There you go. I mean, you don't have to use the submachine gun, but I mean, just for ease of... Not taking five years to try to break a few wooden planks. Shit. You know. Actually, no, 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 no. I've died this way before. And not by man hack. As annoying as this shit is, I'll just take it. I've died because um I've sprinted to try to, you know, run from place to place. I didn't have the oxygen to survive it. Okay, see? Because of this, you have a bridge. You can get out. Oh, right as I was about to switch weapons, too. Okay. Oh, 
Okay. He wasn't even looking. I thought he just was gonna fall back down. These fucking things that take your photo are really annoying. They even drop anything over here? I don't think so. See, look at this. This is just no fun. There's a dead end with nothing in it. And the fucking cardboard box is completely ruining my advance. Is this... Wait, what's over here, then? Nothing. See, I'm searching this stuff too in-depth. None of this shit is even an issue or anything like that. Except for the clipping. <laughs> Just slowly shoot it. It's like an action movie thing. Like if Han Solo were in this game. Uh, I think the cache is... somewhere. There's a cache around here. It's oh, I think you just walk back over here. I don't know. I don't know. See, if I don't get the trophy indicator, I have no clue what I'm doing and what I'm not. I think this is it right here. I, don't, I have no clue what I'm doing or not doing right. What the hell? That was weird. A fall like that shouldn't take all of my life bar. You saw that? I got slowed down a little bit. Shit, now I gotta do this. There you go. That was fucking not right. There was something really not right about that one. Here we go. Some machine gun. He's killing head crabs. Let me gear up. Yep. See ya. No shit. <laughs> like, just the Arnold Schwarzenegger. No shit. Oh, this is pretty cool. But this part you can basically more or less like run directly through. It's the return of the infamous zombies. Well, I wouldn't say infamous because they're very well loved. Dude, what the fuck? Okay, fuck that. Now there's actually an easy way to kill them. But uh, there's no point in killing them. There we go. Hey, Dr. Freeman. That's really just like the introduction to the Half-Life zombies. Which, uh... I think they were tougher in the last game. This game, they, they look much better, obviously. But, uh, they do the same stuff. You can actually kill them with the crowbar if you, uh, kite them. Because their minimum melee or their maximum melee range is not as big as your maximum crowbar range, so. But typically they're in the they come in swarms, and there's usually like uh, other more dangerous enemies, which makes it a very risky thing to do. So I typically don't like to do that. Okay, so now here is like the first. No, don't get out this side. Here's like the first like. Uh, big uh big segment of the game here which is well we just had the root canal we, yeah we just had a root canal which is like that's not fucking some machine gun ammo which is where you're running through the canal or yeah basically swimming through the canals and shit around city 17 and uh more or less for right now all this thing is is it just lets you traverse the hazardous environment with no problem. Now, I forget if you fail the mission if you move too far away from it. I don't remember how it works. I know that in later levels, if the car gets knocked off the ledge and you can't get it, it just gives you a game over because you need it to do stuff. 